Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long, a long time since I filmed any kind of video. <laughs> I mean, we haven't done anything, so. <laughs> but I'm vaccinated and I did a thrift haul. Um, I didn't film anything inside the store because it was busy because it was on a Sunday, which is dollar day. So it's gonna be dollar Sunday thrift day again soon. <laughs> um, this is the first video of me returning. Uh, I got a lot of summer clothes and I actually got some stuff for Savannah too but um, this last trip I only found I was looking for pajamas for her but they really didn't have anything a lot of times now they just mostly have baby clothes I mean a lot of people have been having COVID babies so <laughs> and I guess like people just haven't been donating their toddler clothes or maybe and after when I go they're just and after already gone I to talk. Okay. <laughs> so yeah I went on the hunt um, for summer clothes because I have a lot of jean shorts that I got last year um, but I really didn't have anything else like tank tops that are my style now like I really don't like spaghetti straps um, I like thicker <laughs> straps <laughs> I like thicker strap things I'm like square necks now I've never been like a scoop neck person or v-neck um, even t-shirts um, you know I'm just into the oversized like t-shirt and biker short look because it's just yeah. you know that whole t -sh oversized t-shirt and biker short look I'm into that because it's just comfortable it's it's so hot you know like that's just number one outfit especially when you have a toddler you want to be able to move around um I went looking for some beach sweaters because I have a lot of jackets but I don't really have like hoodies and sweaters for like when I get cold I have like cardigans but they're like super long and more for like fall winter vibes. Um, I got a lot of new active wear because I started doing yoga again because I took a long break too. <laughs> and yeah, I'll make like a video of Amazon purchases because um, I did get some stuff on Amazon to like work out and things that have been helping me with my back issues. I have a lot of back pain just from nothing, just from getting old, I guess. I don't know, maybe it was because I was pregnant and like my stomach was where all the weight went. So like I, ha I had a lot of back Pain and I couldn't really sleep comfortably and so it's just become like an issue but it definitely has gotten a lot better because of some things I be that I got on Amazon so <laughs> so yeah let's get into the haul I will show you what I got so yeah like I said I didn't really film inside the store because I was mostly just focused on looking for summer items and I was looking for certain items for her that I didn't really find this we got a toy this one trip so we got something out of it for her but <laughs> yeah and your dalmatian that's not from the thrift store though <laughs> um yeah i got a lot of summer items that i'm looking forward to wearing um in my backyard because i'm still not going anywhere <laughs> i mean i've gone to the beach like once already so but yeah <laughs> i'm all about being comfortable and not sweating so much <laughs> so i'm into like French mom vibes, I want to say, is my <laughs> is my wardrobe yeah, aesthetic it, that I've been this working on for hair. the last year. Yeah, but if it's it's so tan in the picture. Much down there. But yeah, but I have started adding back some colors because I was just doing like basic colors because I wanted to have like a basic wardrobe to just grab things and put on. And now I have donated a bunch of stuff that I knew that I wasn't going to wear. Like I basically waited seasons basically waited for the season to happen to see if I would wear it and if I would reach for it. Um, and the, those things that I didn't, I always donate to veterans. Um, they come pick up your stuff, you just leave it outside. Doesn't matter how many things you have, they will take it. Um, so let's do this try on portion and you can see what I got. This is this like really soft, silky shirt. And I don't know if it was from like a costume or part of another shirt, you know, like when they have shirts under like a see-through shirt on top um i don't know but there's no tag the thing i didn't know what size it was but it looked like it would fit so i think yeah and these things are all like a dollar to five dollars the most max and it's like very comfortable and breathable um yeah i find in that i just like to wear natural fibers again i wouldn't wear it like this i tuck it in to like these kind of shorts or jeans or um even a skirt, like a midi skirt. Yeah, I just like these texture. So I've noticed that I like a lot of American Eagle um, 
like the style of clothing because they do make things like nice and cotton and just nice nice feeling and this was this is american eagle size medium shirt and again i told you i'm like into that french mom vibe <laughs> that's why my hair is cut this short second day so it's a little greasy like the third day but this is nice i don't wear green really but i thought like this shirt's nice polka daddy you know okay. i i feel like i'm literally trying on the same shirt because it's all brown <laughs> But I was never really a fan of these tie waist shirts, but it feels nice and comfortable and it is flattering. So I feel like, you know, why not? I get it. Oh, I probably wouldn't wear this this shirt with these pants because they're a little bit loose together. So I probably would just like um, <clears throat> a skirt or like some high waisted like shorts that are like a different material. Or like if these jeans were tighter, then it, it would look a little bit better because, you know, you know that rule don't wear two loose items you don't wear one loose one tight or i mean unless that's the look you're going for but i i don't think that that would look good like with this shirt <laughs> in these pants but yeah these are faux buttons too so again i don't have to worry about any accidents happening this is eye candy and this is a size large talking about that oversized baggy t-shirt look and Trying this on now, I'm like, mm, does it look ridiculous? I don't know. I probably will just wear this around the house. Okay. The backyard with that. So see if they're you can see my why I'm not wearing black underwear, so that's weird. I think that's just the shirt. Don't lift it up on camera. <laughs> um yeah, I just mostly got this because it was like oversized and I do wish it was I mean it's like um this is um from Fashion Nova. I'm not sure what size it is, but I just thought, oh, this looks comfy for you know. I could either throw it on, walk to the beach, or just wear it in the backyard with some biker shorts. Like nude would look cool because then it would look like I'm just wearing a dress, t shirt dress. But I mean, I could belt it too. Or get one of those clips that you put in the back. But I like it. I mean, I probably honestly would just wear this for like loungewear. So that's mostly why I got it. And this is a dollar. And this is from Fashion Nova, which probably was like thirty dollars. I don't know, but I'm not shopping there. I'm shopping at the thrift store. <laughs> I actually feel like these leggings I got um, on Amazon. They're like cloud tie dye type of pattern, and they feel just like this. And this feels so soft. Like I don't know what material this is. It's, it feels so nice and comfy, and definitely nice to wear around the house. You know. Next dress. Oh my god, I'm so in love with this dress. <laughs> Actually, this is like the best thing to wear to like a doctor's appointment or something. <laughs> okay. And this is from Uniqlo. And this, like when I go into the dress section, um, they have a separate section. And those are probably the most expensive items. And they're usually like $8.99 enough. So this was actually $8.99. It wasn't on sale any day that I went and got this. But I saw it and I just was like, oh my god, this looks so amazing. And like I said, I'm giving off that French mom Riviera look. <laughs> Where you know I just look effortless and flowy and boho, <laughs> mostly because I don't want to sweat. And it's so lightweight. Like I did wear this when it was like eighty something degrees. I went to, to the doctor and because I needed something, you know, for when I check check people out. But this was so comfortable, even like in the hot weather. It was so nice, and it has pockets. And I'm pretty sure it came with like a belt or something, but it wasn't there, so. I actually should have been like, you know what, can I get a discount? But I didn't. Usually I just, you know, I just don't buy anything over $10. Try not to. But yeah, I actually like this look. This is like pajama look. But I could belt it if I wanted it to, but I really like it better. It's like nice and flowy and so comfortable. And I think this is, what size is this? I can see. Let me try and check this out. <laughs> it's a medium. It's just like the perfect like flashy and i could actually also use this as a beach cover that's my whole thing get some clothes that you can use as beach covers double the wear you know and i actually did get a um I almost fell <laughs> actually did get a cover-up that is basically this but white <laughs> so it's so funny this next dress i know it might look very toddlerish but I had, I saw a picture of myself, it must have been like middle school or even like elementary school, but I literally had this exact same outfit. And I just saw this and I felt nostalgic and I thought, 
I need that. <laughs> it's a jean dress. Again, it did not come with the belt, <laughs> but I went in belt anyways. It's already short as it is, and I probably wouldn't just wear it as a dress. I did wear it, and I just put biker shorts because I'm, I'm not trying to like bend over and you know have my butt exposed. <laughs> but yeah, I just felt like oh my god, I need this. I need a jean dress. <laughs> I like jean shirts, and now I have a jean dress. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I will thrift flip it and like cut it into like a crop top or something. I don't know. Wear it as like a jean, a little crop jean vest. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm down my jacket right now. Okay. Yeah, I found the bike shorts. I basically just have a pile of clothes on the floor. And these are from Forever 21. I got these like two years ago. Uh, they're velvety. So I actually don't, I don't know. They are nice and soft and buttery, but sometimes I do get hot because they're like velvety. So I wouldn't wear these in like 90 degree weather, but maybe 80. But yeah, I wore this like this before, just out in the backyard because it was comfy. And yeah, like then I'm free to move around and not be scared that my butt's gonna hang out. I did wear it like kind of open. So if I'm wearing it with like bike shorts, I probably wouldn't button like up to here or something. And if I wanted to, I could just also go like this. <laughs> What'd you say? Top of the shirt. Tell me what you think. Should I cut this into a shirt or leave it as a dress and have two options? I mean, I guess I could leave it and then just, you know, tie it up when I didn't want to wear it as a dress. It works both ways. I feel like I'm in Greece or something. Or buttons, buttons, da, 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 don't know the words. <laughs> this top. I keep forgetting to look at the tags before I put them on. This is, oh, this is American Eagle too. And it's, this is a size large, but I like it. I just love these buttons. Like I'm not a V-neck person, but I just thought the buttons were cool. And it makes this, you know, makes, gives the shirt a little something extra. Plus I love the lettuce edge. I've always wanted a shirt like that. Okay. It's from, this is actually from Shein and it's a medium. And I saw this and I was like, you know, this is cute. And the material is very thin. Like basically like linen, but so much thinner. And yeah, it's like she is cheaply made, but I don't have to pay. Let me put it on head first because I have makeup on. I don't want to pay like $1.99 to ship something from China and leave a huge carbon footprint when I can just rebuy it from the food store. I'm not going to buy it because it's in here. Yeah, it needs a good steam right here because these things kind of get all messed up when you wash it. But it's like semi see through, but so I wouldn't wear a black bra underneath it. But you get the idea. I love like the peplum. I used to really be into peplum tops, and then I think I was buying them too tight, so it always felt like so restricting. But this is nice and loosey goosey. This is my bod summer, like I said, French mom bod. I'm actually trying to teach myself French. French for dummies, I got it. <laughs> I actually got it second hand because I shop for books on this website called Thrift Books. This is not sponsored. Be nice. Uh, yeah, this website called Thrift Books. They have all, like all new books, like bestsellers, like literally, and they have like separate lists too. Staff picks, like New York Times bestsellers children's books they have so many things they even sell dvds i think too got this shirt which is super nice i actually thought it was like self-tied but it's not so that was funny but i love this shirt too again loosey juicy and i would wear it like this or some shorts even like the front tucked in like this like a cool bike biking bicyclist mom i go cycling or something yeah But yeah, the Thrift Books website, it's really good finding books. I've actually found a lot of books for Savannah, a lot of books for myself. And you get you buy a certain amount of books and they give you a free book, like coupon code that you can buy. Um, and if you spend $10 or more, you get free US shipping. If you don't, it's only like $1.99, which is like insanely cheap. And it really doesn't take that long for the books to arrive either. I mean, depending on the seller, I guess. Uh, or like, it's, it's one seller, but I guess depending uh, on like what the book is exactly, it might take like up to a week, but I haven't waited more than a week for like a book. One time it came in like two days, which is like, is for $1.99 shipping, that's like pretty good. 
I got this shirt because it's nice and gives me like boat vibes. And I probably would just wear like but I like it. it's nice. I could wear it in the summer. And if I get like a job interview or something, put on some slacks and there you go. Business or casual. I like these kind of shirts. Like when I did go to work, I like these like silky tops because I do get sweaty and I get like nervous even for like nothing. <laughs> so especially like a job interview, you know, you're like nervous already. So wearing something breathable and like not super tight or restricting is like very nice. So something silky or I'd wear something like this like linen-y and I love these like um I love these kind of shirts because you can wear them dressed up or down. So like if you're going to like a holiday party or something or you know job interview or work or whatever. I even just want to sit around. You know it's nice. It's for a holiday. You okay? Oh, well, I need your phone. You saw a what? Thing? A holly. Yeah, obviously I wouldn't wear like the, the LOL on your I probably would mostly wear them like jeans, okay. some crop jeans, or some jean shorts. Uh, what did you say? And this has like a stretchy armband, so you can also like pull it up. Banner, you know what it sounds like? It's semi caesar, but again, I would wear a nude or white bra because. I don't care that much, but I'm not gonna wear a black bra under it. I'm just doing this for like try on. It's like one of my favorites. This is from oh, where was this shirt from? This shirt. Oh, this shirt is actually from like H and M or something. And like usually I wouldn't shop. Oh, this is mango, size six, so it's medium, I guess. It says medium European. Yeah, and mango actually has like some nice clothes, but like. I remember seeing them the store in New York and I was always like, what is that store like? Because it was so like different. It was near where all the shops were like. I remember one was at like Herald Square shopping like square center where all the stores were. And I always was like, what store is that? Like I just thought it was like a European store or I didn't even know it was a clothing store. <laughs> and then, you know, I see YouTube videos, people trying on things from Mango, and then I go, oh, that's what that was. And I do wish I had, like, gone into the store just to, like, see what it was about. But yeah, I looked at their website, and they do have some nice clothes, but they are just a little pricey for someone who isn't going in there. <laughs> this shirt is from Toxic, and this is a size medium. No idea where that's from, but again, my vibes for my French mom summer. It's a French mom summer. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't wear. I would either not wear any bra. I'd wear like those. Actually, I really don't like those bra sticky things anymore because number one, I sweat a lot. And in the summertime, if you're trying to wear that, it literally will just fall off your body because when you sweat, they get the adhesive unsticks. So you might as well just get a bandeau bra. Or if you have no boobs like me, just wear no bra. So let me. Pretend I don't have any straps. <laughs> and it's with the shirt. And I actually never liked these kind of shirts, but this one I like because it has a separate arm thing. You know, you don't want to be like this when you're like wearing a shirt because your arms are stuck to it. So this is nice. And I bet I could actually wear it like this too. So I could do, like, if I want a more secure look. I just love. I think it's because the bra strap is kind of like pulling it down. But yeah, I think this is so nice. And just like, I'm just into like flowy, comfortable things. But that looks chic. This is from Cloth and Stone Medium. And this is like a 100% linen shirt. Anytime I see like linen or silk 100%, I'm like, I'm getting that. And I've found a lot of stuff like these last few trips. And last year actually too. And this is just... It's nothing special, it's just a nice breathable top. I found this Forever 21 kind of like cape thing. Can you wear that? Yeah, I can wear this. So like if I'm lounging or if I get a little chilly, I'm on a stroll. Obviously I wear a top under, not just a bra, but <laughs> it did have like one, this supposed to like be connected, but the side was broken and 
that's probably why someone donated it, but like, yeah, if I get cold, you know, oh, darling, <laughs> I'll patch you a chill, let me put on my cape, you like this? <laughs> and it just looks so fancy, but, <laughs> but the material is like very lightweight sweater material, you know, those Forever 21 materials, <laughs> so you could wear this in the summer, and then if it's a nice, if it's, it actually works as like shading yourself from like the UV rays, but also like if it's chilly, you know, Put it on at night by the campfire. Mm. Yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah. I got like two more things. Oh, three more things. This silky top that I actually found is from Dynamite. It says petite small. We're gonna see. It says petite small. Petite small. That means extra small, basically, for someone that's small in size. Is there a buy them to go with? No. But see, this is what I mean. Like. I don't know these like loose shirts it doesn't even matter what size it is because i would never be able to fit into like a petite i'm not a petite small i'm like a medium large and this fits and it's so soft and silky this reminds me of like chinese laundry like you know those shoes that they would make that had like floral inside the soles and stuff and uh, this feels so nice like it's just so nice <laughs> i like to feel my clothes and feel like ah oh, i can go to bed <laughs> and like I would wear it with no bra or like um I actually want to get one of those bras that have like the clear straps because one that has a clear back strap that's what I'm searching for because that would be nice to wear with like these kind of shirts and like dresses that are backless you know this is Tommy Hilfiger this is like yacht club I'm going on my yacht and it's chilly and I'm just sweater <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Siesta Key. Oh my god, comment below if you watch that show. It's just so... I don't get any makeup. How do you avoid this problem if you are filming a video? Please let me know, because I don't know. I actually did see, I saw this video of, Jan I think it was like a TikTok of Janet Jackson. She put a shower cap over her head because she was in concert and she had a full face of makeup and she was changing super tight tops, um, like back to back, so... So that's her trick, apparently. And I was like, I have a shower cap. Actually, why am I not doing that? <laughs> but any other ideas besides covering your whole face? <laughs> and I love these like boat neck tops. I have one sweater like that. It's like from pink, but it's like all black and it's like very thick, so not a summery like sweater. And there's pockets. I'm so excited when anything has pockets because it's just nice. And this is something that I would wear like at night on the beach, you know, after you have dinner, take a shower and you all clean up and you just like ready to just lounge around and be like comfy. This was a dollar. If you go to the thrift store now, now is the time to buy sweaters. Especially if you have like seasonal weather, if you live in an area that has seasonal weather because they always, always discount the sweaters because they want to get that stuff out. They're not like a regular store that like you know puts out like clearance racks and stuff like that this is just a thrift store and remember you're basically donating your money to these places so that they can remain open and offer you know low price but good quality clothing um you know for people who need it and yes sweaters i was in the sweater rack and i was like you know i just want to look for like a nice light sweater because i don't really have that and i was like a dollar, a dollar. I went to buy like all the sweaters and I was like, all right, relax. You don't need 10 sweaters. You just need two, two good options. <laughs> so this was one of them. And I saw this was the Tommy Hilfiger. And I was like, what? It's like um, insane. For some reason, I was seeing a lot of Tommy Hilfiger things. Like somebody really donated a bunch of stuff. Like there was a Tommy Hilfiger, like cute little bag, but I'm not like that much of a purse person. I'd rather have like a tote type of bag or like a large oversized purse because I just dump things in there you know I have snacks water bottles diapers wipes this sweater I've been wanting like a Sherpa sweater so bad and like you know I don't want to spend like $30 especially in the summertime for a sweater like this should be all stores should do this like even you know like big stores they should have all their sweaters like $10 and below and this is like kind of crop but it's long enough so like you know if you have a food baby or something or if you want to just not be like super tight or like show your belly but you don't want the sweater to be like too long and i love i love this color like too it's like 
mall and you know when, when I'm at the beach I'm just gonna go like this while I'm sipping my white claw this tea because they make those now and that's my new trick or some wine yeah some rosé yes I'm basic but you know you like my hoodie <laughs> you like my hoodie 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 I'm gonna be doing some TikToks on this you like my hoodie 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 huh can I stop now I got one, two last things, and then we can film your video. Savannah wants to make her own YouTube video. I know, I know. I'm speed. I'm going to pause for this. So, I can't believe I actually found a bathing suit top. I didn't find the bottoms, but <laughs> I did want, like, um, because I have a lot of bottoms, and I'm feeling a little more confident in wearing, like, low bottoms that I've had for years, <laughs> or just getting, like, a basic bottom, and having a top like different color tops like this mess. but this is like really comfortable it almost looks like a sports bra and I actually could probably wear this one but yes I love like this neckline and that it's like I wish it was a little bit longer but that's all right and I do like this color lavender I feel like it's nice with like some black high-waisted bottom bathing suit bottom so this is a bathing suit this was I think $2.99 or $3.99 so it wasn't a dollar but it was still really cheap this is a medium it doesn't say like what brand or anything because it's just like been erased but it's probably from like Amazon or something or like Shein. But yeah, it's actually like very comfortable and like I think it's flattering. I think it's a nice color, especially when I'm tan because I get really dark. And like, you know, a pop of color is always nice to have. Maybe one thing, this is also an item that was like $8.99 because again, it's like a jumper. It was in the jumper like dress section. It comes with a little tie waist, which I don't know if I would use it. I probably would just care about it, but I think it's like very cute and oh my god it's so soft and they're like pull-ups basically it's just so cute i was like not sure about these ruffles and i was like maybe i'll just chop them off you know and just have it like this which i don't know it does look nice like that maybe i can like sew this so it's not as floaty so it looks more like that because i think that looks more flattering on me than like that sticking out that looks like kind of weird to me like Tell me what you think but i think yeah that does look kind of weird so i can just sew this tighter together without having to actually alter like the way it fits me because it's just the outside as you can see so maybe making this tighter would look nicer i think it would make it look more like um more um what's the word <laughs> more um not expensive but you know what i mean like more like upscale i guess i don't know what, you know the word i mean not cheap basically <laughs> i didn't realize i look yeah it took a long time a lot of clothes i feel like a spice girl so what am i what you want what you really really want do i look like posh fun fact when i was younger i actually went to this like audition for like kids version of spice girls and it was a long crazy line it was somewhere in manhattan i forgot it was so it might have been like one of those concert like venues and all I remember was like no choice but to be posh because that was like the only closely related clothing items I had and I had like short hair I guess did I have short which is weird because I never remember cutting my hair when I was younger but so I went as posh and I was so terrified and I was just there like like we're supposed to be dancing and stuff and you know being all like out there and I was just like I don't even know what it was for. I just remember like going to some casting call, like, <laughs> do you want to be a Spice Girl version of Child or whatever? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it was an experience. <laughs> These track pants I found. These are from Athletic, medium eight to ten. These were in the women's section, but I don't know if they're women's or men's. And they actually are high waisted. Like as you can see, I don't like anything low waisted. <laughs> Mid rise, low waisted. Which that was my jam back in the day, but my jam was bell bottoms, low rise bell bottoms, <laughs> and I think they're like very flattering, and I can work on them. And I've always wanted like a pair of Adidas track pants. They're kind of cropped, but not like super cropped. So I feel like I really don't like capri things. So they're like just the right amount of they're like ankle length cropped. And I had this plus bra. This was from Amazon. This was like. I want to say ten dollars probably super cheap and very supportive i actually wore this in the backyard pool and it was i was like oh 
a good test for, you know, practice the rest of the beach if I feel like it. I saved this for last because I'm probably going to stay in this for the rest of the day. Because it's comfortable. I'm going to throw a scrunchie in my hair. Like I would most likely just be like this. This is my everyday look. <laughs> and last, last, last thing I had to show was just... <laughs> I found these and I was so excited. These are some Levi's 566 loose. <laughs> some toddler Levi's. And I love them so much. Me and Savannah were twinning yesterday at the thrift store because I wore my Levi's and you wore your Levi's, right? <laughs> it's so cute. Like, look at these. They're nice. so little. And these They're are so Levi's. Nice. When I found these, and these were like $3 or something. I, I don't even know. They're, I don't like, they're yours. Look at these you little shorts. This is so cute. Oh and they I feel they like I'm gonna break these when she doesn't fit them anymore. But they fit so perfectly on too, like I'm gonna. There's a snap no, button. There's a zipper. You. So if you they don't fit you. If I had a little boy, I'd have to be very careful. They don't fit you. <laughs> they don't fit me, of course not. Imagine it'd be like, hey guys, these are my Levi's I found at the thrift store. <laughs> I actually found a black pair of Levi's last uh Wednesday, like in the winter time, but oh my god. I kind of lost, like, I've been, like, fluctuating, so I lost a lot of weight, and what it is that, it's not necessarily that I lost a lot of weight, it's that my, I lost, like, inches, I guess, so, like, the pants, those plants I had, they were black, and they were already, like, big, but then they got, like, really big, like, and, like, they would look ridiculous by the button hack where, you know, you put it on the side and add an extra button if it doesn't fit you. I'd be able to do that with some of my pants, but some pants I had, oh, like, I had a pair of Wranglers. They fit so nice. They were, like, the perfect, they were, like, this high yeah, so, and I love them. Way, and they were, like, dark blue, and there were some Wrangler mom jeans, and they fit so nice. They fit so nice in my butt. And I lost some weight, and they just, they looked ridiculous, like clown pants, and I was so sad because I really liked those pants. But I donated them back, so... Someone else can give them a new home. I usually, if something doesn't fit or something, I mostly just donate it because I'm not gonna try and resell it, especially if I've had it for like a while. Yeah, we're gonna do your show next. <laughs> so yeah, usually I'll do that. Um, also because I don't even know, like I don't have that much of an online presence to like sell items. And like I've gone to Plato's Closet before and tried to sell things. And I think once they took like a bunch of stuff and then like the second time I went, they were like, we didn't take anything, so, you know, and they try to give hold, like, oh, I learned from watching other videos of, like, employees that they look at the, like, serial numbers of things, so, like, if you have, let's say something's in, like, new condition almost, and, but it's, like, a few years old, they still be like, no, because they look at the number, the serial number, or whatever that number is called in the clothing items, and they, like, check it to see, like, how many years old it is, and even if it's trendy, like sometimes it's like, no, we can't accept this. So, I don't even bother. <laughs> Kids clothing is even worse trying to resell that. Like, they just are so picky. And so I'd rather just donate those things because they're going to go up for sale for like less than $10. So, whatever. Yep, so that was my thrift haul. Um, yeah, hopefully there'll be some more coming soon. I'm not probably going to be going like every Sunday and I even went like later in the day and it was still pretty busy, but I do want to find some new coffee mugs. That's one thing I really want to get, um, like espresso size. So I do have like some tiny ones, but they're just a little bit too tiny because I started drinking espresso. If you haven't noticed, started drinking espresso because drinking a whole cup of coffee would not improve my tummy. So I would just make espresso and drink like, you know. An espresso sh a little bit more than an espresso shot cup size so that's what I'm looking for like a good medium sized cup that I can also use for tea too I have a lot of mugs big mugs but a lot of times I don't even drink like that size anymore so I have them for you know when other people come over but yeah I really want to search for those I did see some but I really wanted them to be on sale <laughs> so we'll check again maybe I will go next Sunday but I will only go to the home section so and maybe I'll try to film that because that's more, a little bit like secluded. It's in the back where the home section is. Where the clothing section is, it's kind of like in the front. And there's always like a lot of people going in and out of the aisles. Like, it's just too much. And I like to still stay six feet apart, but some people still don't get that. So that was my haul today. Hope you enjoyed it. And please like and subscribe if you do. Um, 
I also, I wanted to say that I had an announcement. I'm going to be making a podcast about books and comic books. I'm still thinking about the name, but I think it's going to be called um, Coffee and Conversations with Books and Comic Books. One reason is because I really, like I said, that there's thrift books. I'm going to leave the link, um, the website below. The thrift books site is like really has helped me through COVID. Like I've gotten so many books and I've actually been able to read a book. I need to take this glass off. I've actually been able to read a book after like four years, you know, because when you have a child, they don't really allow you to. You're reading books for them, but but yeah, um, this past Christmas, I actually went on that site and I got so many books for Savannah for Christmas um, because she's three. So, you know, trying to teach her how to read and also to be interested in books. And I got myself a whole bunch of books, like, so many books that I just want to talk about them and I also finally got like most of my things from New York so I did realize that my comics a lot were missing like they just disappeared so <laughs> my mother has been going around to different comic places in New York and buying up all the comics that I remembered that I had I made it like a long list so I'm I'm very into like sci-fi murdery <laughs> comics so there will be some interesting talks about those comics like Buffy um there's one called Hack Slash oh, this is like a really good comic oh what was the other one? Oh, oh damn it bloody not bloody Mary no uh, damn it it's called something I will remember it but it's this one where this mom becomes an assassin because her family gets murdered. It kind of reminds me of Peppermint. Oh my god, I wonder if they got, that's where they got the idea for that because this comic was like old, like years and years ago. Um, but I've been recently starting to get back into like reading my comics and stuff because I realized like I missed them, you know? I used to like every time, once a week, pick up like the new weekly order and stuff and then I just, it's been a long time. But yeah, that, yeah, I'm going to look into that because I wonder if that comic is, if Peppermint is based off that comic. And if you don't know what Peppermint is, it's the movie with Jennifer Garner where she becomes an assassin because her family gets murdered. And there's no, like, backstory or basis really about, like, what exactly happened. It was supposed to be, like, just random or whatever, but the comic goes more into depth about, like, why and why she was targeted, why her family was targeted, and what exactly was going on. But, yeah, that will be coming soon um because i haven't started filming it yet because trying to find a quiet place to film audio is kind of hard <laughs> and if you haven't noticed this quality of video has gotten better because i got a ring light actually and it is very nice not only for filming but for taking pictures like this is we have such dark walls painted in our house that it's really hard to find a nice place to film anything especially like our room Ugh, don't get started on the color in there but that's another whole nother video but yeah like these walls are gray but i have the ring light so it's bright and i can change colors now like look at this Ooh, i'm yellow Ooh, i'm kind of blue and this is what i've been using <laughs> you're trying to jump Jump that! Whoa! Jump up! Jump up! Okay. And the end.